Welcome to the testing word. In this session, I'll show you how we can perform performance testing of the REST service by using POST method. So POST method is used when we want to save something on the server, when we want to enter some new data to the server. So I'm using the same application Jira, which we have already set up in the previous session. So if you want to enter new defect into the Jira means I want to enter a new information to the server. I want to enter a new defect to the server. So first of all, I'm moving to my JMeter. I'm going to create a new thread group and giving the name performance. It's a rest performance. So that's my thread group. I'm coming inside it and I'm using a sampler, HTTP sampler because REST API are using HTTP to communicate the data between my machine and the server. So we have to use HTTP sampler. So I'm using HTTP request over here. Here we need to give server name or IP. So as I already have Jira on my machine, so we need to mention the IP. But here, because I have Jira on this machine, so I'll just enter localhost over here. And what is the port number? So my Jira is running on the port 8080. So that's the port number. Then we have to enter rest of the URL over here. So localhost 8080, we have already placed the rest of the URI is this. This is the complete URI to create an issue into the Jira. This is the remaining part of the URI because we already enter machine IP and the port. So rest of the URI, I copy from here and paste it over here. Next is as we are using post method this time. So I need to select post method. Third thing that we need to set up is body. So whatever the content you want to send as a request, as a part of the request, we need to paste it over here. So this is the JSON data that we need to send to the server. So I'm just copying it and pasting it over here. If you get like where we get this data, whenever you are working on any API, so we are going to get the API document. So if we talk about the Jira, so we have an API document. So this is the document. So in this document, it will show uh, it will show complete details like what should be the format of input request. So if we talk about creating an issue, so that's the API for creating an issue. If I click on this, so by this URI, we can create an issue or the subtask. And if we want to see what kind of request, so here we can see that the format of the request. I just click on this. So that is the format of the request. We can copy it directly from here and update data. I have done the same thing. I just copy the data from here and we are pasting into the body, but I'm taking only mandatory fields because while reporting and defect, we can have a lot of fields, but I'm just entering only mandatory fields over here. And few data that I want to update is that I want to set the priority is medium. So what changes I have done? I have just entered the body, JSON body over here. I'm going to add one listener that is view result tree. As of now, a basic set of performance test case for the rest service is created in which we are posting some data to the server. If we execute that it's going to be failed we will first see the error then we will sort out the issue so first of all it is asking unsupported media type means it is not clear what kind of input you are sending so because this time we are sending an input in the form of json by default it is taking as i'm just going to show you request so by default it is taking it as a application and url encoded format but this content type should be different 
So how we can make it different? Our content type is JSON format. So I'm going to config element and here am I adding HTTP header management piece. In header, I'm sending a request to the server and in header, I have to define what type of content type I'm sending. So I'm adding a header manager and my content type is content type you can write it or you can copy it from the here so i'm just copying it and my content type is json so for json we need to enter application json and if you are sending input in the form of xml so on the place of json we just need to write xml and one change i have done over here I'm just clearing previous results. I'm running it again. Still, it's going to fail. I'll show the reason. So I'm going to the request. Now, why it's getting failed? If you go to the response, search shows project is required means in input. I have given the name of the project is DES. The key of the project is DES. But if I show you my Jira, so here the key is AUT. Each project have the unique key. So I want to enter the data or the bug into this automation project and the key of the project is AUT. So I'm updating it to the AUT. I'm showing these error because these are the common error which we are going to face in the real time. So we can sort out the issue by looking at the response. I'm just clearing result again. Again, it's going to fail. I'll show you. So I'm going to run it again. It's going to fail. So it shows bad request. And if we go to the response means it is saying like we cannot set all these data. So that is again, we are going to see one common mistake that we are doing here. Implementation is by default blank. So whenever we are hitting rest services, we need to select it to the Java. Now I'm clearing result again and I'll run it again. Again, it's going to fail. I'll show one more error that we can face. So I'm running it, it's failing again. So now, now we know to access Jira, we need to set authentication. We need to set username and password, but here we did not set any authentication. To set the authentication, I'm going to add a config element which is HTTP authorization manager here we need to set the authentication so to setting the authentication click on this add button base URL base URL of the URI which you are hitting so that's the base URL so I'm just copying it and username so my username is testing word noida then we need to enter password I have entered the password now I'm coming and clearing the result, running it again. So here we see it is getting passed. And that's my request, which is going to the server. And that's the response we are getting. So it has reported one new task with the name AUT4. I just copy it from here and going to my Jira. I just want to verify it over here. So I'm searching AUT4. And here we can see we are getting all the details which are related to the AUT4. And if you want to execute it for the multiple users, so we have already covered this part many times. I'm just increasing the user. I'm running it again. So here we can see five requests are going to the server. F first time it is reporting a defect with the ID AUT5, AUT6, AUT7, AUT8, AUT9. And if you want to verify, then we can check it AUT5, here AUT6. So many defects are reported because we are running same post script with the multiple users. So here we have seen how we can work on post method rest. API performance testing. 
That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.